Hello, hello, welcome back. I have received the 74L74. And you can see there it, it's configured as a 2 bit Ripple binary counter. So let's switch it on. I have lim limited current to 96. So switching it on. Boop. You can see nothing happens when I uh, click the button, but if I hold it, you can see this guy here change his color. If you look like this, let's focus on it. You can see there's actually two LEDs in there. But I thought maybe it was a bit dim, so it's supposed to go yellow there and then black. So let's change those. So these were 3.3k these are 560 ohms I forgot to switch off power but yeah. I think it's okay so let's try it can you see there's something wrong it, it is brighter than before however you can see that it never goes up because uh, last time when I had those one in we had a state, a fourth stage, or a zero state that was off. So when it goes to yellow, so now it's green, red, yellow, it's supposed to go to black or nothing. So what's wrong? You can also ask why does it happen when when it goes to green again you must remember now we have only one LED changing at a time there and now another one there and now two LEDs are changing at the same time so that will give you a hint that uh, this circuit needs decoupling so I couldn't find a decoupling um, capacitor so I just took this one and uh, if I put it doesn't matter. It's supposed to go across the power pins of the the device, but uh, that's a recommendation, not something you have to do. So, so let's try it over here. So. Let's see. Let's try it now. And there you go. You get the uh, off state. So I think this circuit works rather well. Yeah, I forgot to say that when I switched those resistors, we got uh, harder current. So when they switch, they switch harder. And I think that's the reason why. Um, why the circuit failed and not when we had the other resistor so <coughs> so there's more things to this so remember I talked about the preset circuit so uh, we have a pull up on it and then we have a uh, capacitor and that was supposed to put a preset on the startup sequence. So this one holds the preset line low and then slowly it will be charged up with this uh, resistor. So if I now pull this out like this then if I switch it on and off you can see we got red now we have yellow nothing yellow so it's it's kind of random now oh, it's nothing again yellow also if we try to run it we can see that it uh, has problems okay not this time
Okay, so it runs, but if I switch it off and then on again, you see it starts in a random state. So, now if we go even further and we remove the pull-up on the preset, what happens then? Okay, random startup. You see? It doesn't work properly anymore. So what I think is that this preset line, this is so high impedance now, such uh, a change on the output will uh, reset it. So therefore it will go to zero every other time. Enough screwing around with this breadboard thing and then the PCB thing. Because I'm gonna do the Eagle schematics later anyway, so I th what I'm thinking that okay for breadboard this part here is fine because this is very easy basically it's the socket and then some pins and these are 13 and 14 address lines which I connected to 5 volt here and here and this computer isn't working anymore so I don't want to try it on my other computer so, <laughs> before I find the fault, uh, I'm laughing now, it's not funny at all. So, yeah, mama! so I tried um, measuring the ship select and everything with the probes, so, <laughs> and the scope, but no, so, but then I thought maybe, okay, so I put the uh, original apron back, but still doesn't work. I tried cartridge, then it works. So then I know the computer is working, the um, PLA is probably working. So, <laughs> But then I had a close look at this soldering of mine. If you look like this, I don't know if you can see that. You can see there's some solder on that pin over there. And this third from top down there. And why is that important? When you're using rounded pin like this, you're basically wrapping the socket. So, and if you can see third from uh, top there, it might be a bad socket. If you look on this side, it looks like the contacts are fine. But here, it looks like they are crushed. And especially that one which had the solder on itself. Try and fix that or bend it a little bit. You see, it just drops down without any force, but on the other side, there's friction. You can see it's bending and everything, but here it's completely dead. So, I used a knife to bend the pins, because the needle didn't work, so switch it on. Ta-da! Trying it again. Doesn't work, so... To figure out what's wrong. The old ship again. Not working. So basically this socket needs to be replaced. So when you use rounded pins like this you should use rounded sockets and I don't have that. But I do have rounded pin rolls. So I'll try that. Rather cleaning then soldering.
Okay, I checked all the connections and they are fine. So therefore I look for short circuits like this. There. Something wrong here. Yeah. I'd forgotten about this one. There. Something's working. Wow. Okay, so I think we'll just put this one in there and we're done. So, where is restore? And the only thing right now is I know it's pin 3. And it's down there. So, hook the wire there to there. Then I will hook up two wires from the D flip up to here. And I have to desolder this 5 volt connection. Yep, you can see. And power from the board, and then the two wires coming from the D flip flop. Nothing happens. Well, I forgot the reset. Okay, I've soldered in the reset line. It's basically, yeah, it's behind there somewhere. The black wire. I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, switch it on. And if I press it, no problems. But if I hold it, ta -da! hold it again, MR, hold it again, and again. You, <laughs> it's working. So let's look what's going on in here. You can see I removed the switch, replace it with restore. So this is me clicking, and then if I hold it, it turns green, and we get Jiffy Dust, turns red, we get MR, I don't know what it is. I think it's called Exodus, it needs more, I think, to work. So, But anyway, yellow, and then off, go back, and we can scroll, hold it, yellow, drop it, Ta -da. this one starts really fast by the way, then back to normal, so yeah, that's working, <laughs> really promising, well, um, so <laughs> really cool if I switch out that uh, lead hair with this color lead, what do you think? So, any suggestions are welcome. So, because now when I press it, I don't really know how long I need to press it. So maybe I press it for too long. It goes too far. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will make the board and. Uh, I was thinking these uh, LEDs, this out LED and this restore LED, it's not really necessary. It's just for me when I debug it right now. What I was thinking, 
to have on that PCB is footprint for those sleds so if someone wants to solder those sleds they can do that and they can leave them alone if they don't want them so and then a connector like this for this one such that if they want they can switch out the Commodore LED so thank you for watching that has been really interesting so if I hold it like this maybe you can see it at the same time So I hold it for a bit longer. It steps over that silly, silly Xrom or Exos or what it was called. Anyway, yeah, bye bye. Oh cracky! I forgot to say I will try and make room for that uh, microcontroller, such that you can, if you want to, you can use the microcontroller instead. That's it. Bye bye.